Ever since I created my funnel to drive more traffic to my school community around no-code and automation called the no-code integrator, I get a bunch of questions in regards to Marvin, why are you using Webflow? And what's the easiest way to use Webflow in order to build pages? And today I've got the answer for you. It's something called clonables and I'm going to show you exactly what you can do with it and why it's so powerful. So let's find out. Why am I using Webflow in the first place? Well, first of all, it's familiarity, right? I am using Webflow for the past three, three and a half years, something like that, right? Um, so I'm really used to it. Second, it's very powerful, right? Um, it's really close to the code itself. And so if you have some coding experience, you will notice that the panel and the editor is basically very close to CSS code itself. So you can tweak really um, detailed things within Webflow, which is super powerful for complex animations. And um, basically you can, you can style it any way you like, right? Um, but also it has um, capabilities to connect with other apps, right? So I'm using Make a lot. So this is very, very helpful for me. Um, anyway, another reason why it's so powerful and which is going to be more interesting for you is the fact that you have something called clonables. And clonables, I'm going to show you right now, are these things here made in Webflow. So this is a huge library of websites that have been built with Webflow from other, peoples of, um, other people of the community, basically, right? So you can um, check all these websites out, um, use them for your own inspiration, like them, um, interact with them, comment them, etc. But the most interesting thing for me um, personally is clonable sites only. So if you toggle that button, you will have access to a library of websites that have been built with Webflow, you can copy and paste into your own account, right? So if I click on, on a random thing right here, actually what it tells me to do is, well, I can first check out what's happening here. It's a very complex website with a lot of animation and great styles. However, what is more interesting is the fact that I can clone it into my Webflow account. And you can see right here that 236 people have already cloned it um, and are using it for their own um, websites. So this is powerful, guys, because this library is full of great examples and full of great templates you can use for your, for your own account. Um, this is especially interesting, right? Um, you need to check that out because it's a spline animation very powerful stuff. Just, just a second. Let's see how this works. Um, open, open live site. So this is built with spline and Webflow. Stuff like that is so interesting to me. Um, but we're not here for that. You, you just need to know that you can basically copy and paste that exact page into your own Webflow account if you want to. But, um, I have my own library of um, Webflow clonables that I've been using in the past or I just really liked. So I created this for subscribers of my, of my newsletter. And if you want to get access, you can sign up using the link below. However, there are a couple of forms I'm going to, uh, a couple of clonables I want to show you. So um, this one right here is really interesting because it's a multi-step form within Webflow. So if you've been using any, any kind of form software in the past, you know that um, most of the times you have to embed forms in order to make them fully functional and customizable and stuff like that, right? Um, with Webflow, you can basically create the forms inside of Webflow um, quite easily. And the easiest way to create them is using a clonable like this, right? So if I click here, duh, 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 it opens the clonable, right? And I mean, you can search for it if you want, or you just use my library. However, um, we are going to use it to demonstrate the power of clonables. So I'm going to create a new site. It's a stupendous site. However, let's get started. There we go. So now we're inside the Webflow um, designer and I can basically just click and drag things around if I want to, right? It's very easy to, to use this. Um, I mean, the, the learning curve for Webflow in general is a bit steep in the beginning, 
But if you're using clonables like this, I mean, it's quite simple. You can just click here and delete that. I don't need that either. I just want the form component, right? And if you click on settings on the right side, you can basically, there we go, you can basically see um, each slide. So this is, all of this is within a slide container. And you can see that right here, there's the slide. And if I click on this little arrow right here, I can navigate through the slides. So you can build your own multi-step form, right? Maybe maybe um, you want to change that question, right? Um, this is another question. Um, maybe you don't want to ask for the name or not for the phone number and just for the website and the name. Maybe um, you want to ch change that um, checkbox we're not gonna do that right now because it's hidden here somewhere. But yeah, that's basically how you can change these forms in a very easy and natural way. So if you're ready adjusting your form, right? Um, there's this complete submission button. You can now go to the form itself, right? So if you click on the form wrapper, you can choose what is supposed to happen with um, the lead that has been going through the questionnaire. And you can either redirect them to a specific URL, right? Or you can use a um, Webflow action, which is basically just a HTTPS request that's going to be sent to whatever action you want to define, right? So I use that for um, the invitation to my school community. And I can show you how this works. Basically, I have this automation right here. And whenever someone signs up through my landing page, and I can show this to you as well. Da, da, da. So whenever someone goes here and fills in this form, this automation gets triggered and I'm using a custom webhook. This is basically a, a URL. I cannot show it to you because you might mess with it, right? But I just take that URL and I can, yeah, I just take that URL and put it into the action, right? That's it. That's how I receive the information. I can then send it in my Airtable, make the request to um, invite the member to school and save it into my Klaviyo account. So that's re really all it is, right? Um, now you can preview that form. You can go through it. It looks amazing, has amazing animations and just feels very natural to use. Bam, complete submission, and you're good to go. If you didn't notice, we even got a counter up here. So this is very, very valuable stuff. If you want to get access to this library right here, that's my private library. You can sign up for, for the newsletter. Also, um, if stuff like that is interesting to you, right? Um, no code and using automations and all that kind of stuff, make sure to join my community because it's free and I'm right now building the course and I'm about to launch the full thing. I'm collaborating with a couple of people. So make sure to go to this website, sign up, and you are going to have access to this community right here with the classroom and course modules, right? So I hope you enjoyed this video. Um, let me know in the comments if you learned something and this was valuable or not. Um, hope to see you in, in the community.